The Fire Meow says, I think you guys should get the soldier armor set from Hyrule Castle. That was in Discord. Also, we got a YouTube comment from Josiah Ketchum. Hey, you guys should go to the Royal Guard's armor and upgrade it to level two. Well, in this episode, we are going to Hyrule Castle. We're going to get that armor. I don't know if we're going to be able to upgrade it many times in a single episode, but man, look, Link looks cool when he's skydiving with the new gear that we got in the last episode. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. I'm pumped, though. We're going to go and explore Hyrule Castle. Yeah. I don't know how much I've even actually done this in my original game. This is a fun thing to do. I remember uh, my first playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom. I I went to the castle because, like, the story kind of brings you to the castle early to go see Ganon or uh, Zelda. Zelda float away mysteriously and be yeah. like, that. that's unusual behavior. Um. And I was like, how much can I explore around in here? I thought I was coming here at the end of the game. Oh, by the way, if somebody wants to comment that we should do a bunch of Addison signs, please feel free. I think that that could be funny. Solve every Addison sign in an unusual way. <laughs> that might take that a while. That would actually be pretty fun. That, that, that's a fun, good uh, idea for a video, like a Sunday video. Yeah, like put that down attach a hot air balloon to it or something. <laughs> like, yeah, we solved... We solved... 15 Addison signs in stupid ways. Yeah, using only torches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think people would get a kick out of that. For sure, for sure. But this is a fun thing to do to sneak around. There's kind of some tough enemies-ish, but there's a lot of like, oh, can you sneak through? Eh, this shield on my back! Yeah, I think it's just that fan shield <laughs> getting in the way. <laughs> Trying to blow those doors. Do a backflip. Do a barrel roll. Open the door one inch more. You know what would really pay off here is some patience. <laughs> <laughs> Stop Comment below if things. you remember that from the previous episode of You Choose How We Play Tears of the Dude, Kingdom. I'm going to put on the not dumb armor. There. And not dumb weapon. Yeah. Dude, that spear is hot. It's money. That's really good. Haha, <laughs> I'm the new Yiga Master now! <laughs> I have spoken! I am Master Koga! <laughs> I am the Yiga Lord! What do you say we go in here? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. I mean, just whatever. Do what feels natural. Uh, oh, shoot. I was like, I'll put ice there. No, you won't. Oh, no, you won't. What you're gonna have to do is ultra hand it and then recall it. Or at least that's what I did. Did you solve it a different way? Comment below. Oh, that works too. <laughs> uh, that was funny. <laughs> Did you say? Oh, <laughs> oh. You may, uh, maybe like that. Something quicker and smarter. <laughs> the downside is of that method is I didn't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> the downside is it makes me feel stupid. <laughs> I want to hear because I want to talk about myself, but I also want to hear from uh, you viewers who have commenting ability and inclination. Maybe you're watching on a TV and you can't comment. That's okay. Uh, it's cool that you're watching on a TV. TV device watchers are uh, great viewers and we appreciate you even if you can't comment. But comment below, what's an old song that you get a kick out of that you like, uh, that you don't really listen to anymore? Not that the song is old, but that in your life personally uh, you used to listen to it and now you don't it might take a minute to think of but uh, Ted and I were actually talking off camera before this episode started about that kind of yeah just keep going man just keep exploring. well this this leads all the way back to um, the tower place yeah but there's gonna be Pura hidden is. stuff like look for stuff that might be bombable or ultra hand movable um, arrowable yeah, and you'll start finding some interesting stuff. Oh, this is a black one. He's got the... His horn is good. For, yeah, that's a good Especially good for, like, hammers. Oh, chest. So, Ted, do you know the song, I Think We're Alone Now? I Think We're Alone Now. Yes, by Tiffany. And famously covered Doesn't by Weird Al, I Think I'm a Clone Now. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anyone around. Yeah, that that's a Think funny song. Definitely one hit wonder for that gal. I think I'm a clone now. <laughs> Dude, Weird Al's. <laughs> it's funny how okay. well he could emulate or imitate the singers he was covering, but also still keep it totally Weird Al. It's like it was always a little nasal. Were you the one telling me about the Weird Al movie? 
that yeah, I, need I think to watch we were it. talking yeah, about that a few you had weeks mentioned ago. That, and yep. I, I was going to try to find it and watch it, but it's it on Hulu available. for free with you ads. Know, there was also another or, um, movie that I was partway through watching, then I had to stop, and then by the time I got back to it, like a couple days later, it was no it longer. wasn't on the service anymore. Oh. It was Oh brother, where art thou? Because I hadn't seen it. Really? And I got partway through, and I was like, "Hey, this is pretty good." And then I had like had to go somewhere. Oh, what part were you at? I think they just got baptized down by the river. Okay. <laughs> um, do you? The two of them. Just one. I think just one guy got baptized, uh -huh. and they were like making fun of him and stuff. Did you already know about and or figure out while watching? Yeah, get rid of that four spear. The, on the all far right. Oh yeah. That's the way to go. Um, that it was like a Yes, it's allegory, the, is that the right word of um or an illusion the to Iliad? Or is it the Odyssey? The Odyssey. I, I yeah. so I I didn't really pick up on much of that yet, but I know that there are things that happen later, like they turn into frogs and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a good And there's like the sirens and the whole Yep, sirens. Yeah. There's the, the Cyclops. Deal. He's a hilarious actor. I like him a lot. The guy that plays the Cyclops. Well, that's a good film. And it's also maybe be a song that some people in uh, the comments have listened to a bunch. I am a man of constant sorrow. That's one of them. That was the big one on the soundtrack. Like the big. I think it's, it's a, original. Like really? they wrote it for oh, the man, movie. It's a good song. Yeah. Um, a place to call my own. But I liked the uh, renditions of uh, You Are My Sunshine and In the Highways and Hedges. Yep, and then the Down in the River to Pray. That's another one. That yeah, a that's a good one. Or um, Fly Away. I'll fly away in the morning. What? What? Uh, you have to get above. How? How can I go up? From down here, if there's something above me. Well, if you can't ascend the ladder, oh, <laughs> maybe you could ascend not the ladder. <gasps> Must sneak up to him. You got him to death. Dude, he's guarding this room, man, from anyone entering the conventional way. <laughs> Please stop! <laughs> I'm a lot of Inside organs. Of Castle, practically a maze. Yeah. Whoa, your eyes are very much like a me. Dude. Doop, that is doop, totally. Doop, 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 Blah, blah, blah. We don't care. We should do some sort of, like, acapella cover of that song, like, intentionally. I think that'd be pretty funny. What are some of the good old basement tunes? Uh, there's obviously Gerudo Shrine, Shriny Shrine, but we also did the, um, like, the beatbox cover of the Mario 2. That was pretty cool, too. Then we have the, the surfing song. Yeah, bow, 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 bow. a classic. That must have been a good song for like semi-universal reasons, because a bunch of people who had never heard that song before were commenting like, "What is that song?" Or maybe not, never heard it before, but like, I don't know, heard their parents listen to it a couple of times. A and lot of people knew it, it because it was in the uh, SpongeBob movie, apparently. Oh. But they like, they were they young it enough. Was from that? <laughs> no, they knew it was old. Okay. But they like, you know, you can't Google search a song based on. Well, you can if you press the thing and then the song's just playing. If and it's the phone on, to it, but yeah. you can't just sing that in. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. this is weird. So we're 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 in here and we're looking for the specific armor. I haven't found a piece of it yet, though. Do you know where they are? The pieces. Uh, well, when you were in like that spiral staircase, I felt like you were on the right path. Did you leave the room with the me guy in it? Like via the staircase without exploring around? I yeah, I went down. I'm gonna look in here. This seems like a thing. Oh yeah, well you can set something there and then you can get in from the outside. Like permanently, I think. How about a barrel? 
That might do it. Dude, they should have had a Yiga guy who, like a big Yiga guy who threw barrels. It would have been amazing. It'd have been like Donkey Kong. Ooh, he there had a, might and be. He and he could have had a tie. The five hand guy down here. What? The hands with the eyeballs in them. Oh, cool. You were being a little, uh, a little adventurous. Cool. I think there's a treasure chest back there, too. I think you're right. Maybe it'll be some armor. But I do think that I remember a lot about, like, those staircases, the spiral staircases where the stairs were broken in a couple of spots and you kind of had to jump. That that connected Come on a lot out of and fight like a man. That you wanted to look to find the armor that you're having trouble finding. I would definitely make your way back to that room that that guy was okay. guarding the staircase and check around in there. Bop, 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 bop. Ah! A little noisy, a little noisy. Uh, oh, it's a nice bow. That's what it is. Oh. A soldier's bow. Maybe you could get rid of your junk, junk, junk. Why'd you keep the five bow? I guess because it's not badly damaged. Right. Ooh. I don't think we need that sword. Nah, I don't think so. Either. Okay. Um, I think you're right though. We need to head back. Mm hmm. It's an important part of a complete breakfast. Should I look in? Yes. That. Yes. Who? <laughs> Am I holding this or not? You can just throw it, you big wuss. Oh, not a headshot. Ted likes to make things more challenging for himself on occasion, just just to keep it fun. You know? Yeah, I didn't want to like kill him right away. And where's the fun in that? If you don't use one of the fairies that um, Peter got in the last episode, what's the point? Oh, your Boko Reaper. <gasps> oh! Dude, these guys are beefy. They don't like... Especially get... when you don't eat anything in between crits. <sighs> well, they don't... They don't. Yeah, <laughs> nothing knocks them off their stance. I was hoping that I would... That's like, true. ...knock him away, but that, he wouldn't. That he wouldn't happens to me a lot. Are, wait, did you fire those arrows, or are those there for, like... Like, to imply that they are using them as, like, bullseye target practice I skills? I think the second. Huh. It's pretty cool. It's a neat little detail. Well, there's nothing there now. Uh, right. Remember, oh, you were gonna look up? under the staircase. Right. Thank you. Yes. Dude, I watched a, um, a documentary, and perhaps you'll be insulted <laughs> to hear this. Uh, and in one of the people in the documentary had ADHD. Okay. <laughs> Which I thought of because oh. you're like, what am I doing? <laughs> I, I was actually telling, uh, I have a story for you after you finish this one. There's not a chest ADHD. in there, is there? Behind those metal... I saw you move them, but I didn't see what was behind that. Okay, no. Okay. Nothing. Uh, but she had ADHD. Um, she was on the spectrum. Okay. She had um, dyslexia. Dis number uh I don't know what the word is for it, but it's like the numeric version of dyslexia. Oh, like numeral dyslexia or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it was some different word. And then I think she said dis something else yeah. She but she had well, she was diagnosed with five different things. Whoa. And it was a documentary about people on the spectrum, um their their process of like dating. You could try ascending there if you wanted. I don't know if that would do anything. Hey, take us out of where we want hey, to go. Hey, an eyeball! Oh, it's a keys eyeball. Uh, you're not at the top, are you? Nope. Should I go to the top or the bottom? Well, I don't know. Now I'm on fire! You could you could do either, but I suppose maybe down would be easier. Go down. First, and then you can ascend to get up. Ow. What's that say? Here lies Link. Deep beneath this land, our mighty fist first ruler imprisoned the demon king. To ensure the king's magic would hold, we erected a castle here to protect the sacred site. Without this castle in place, the site may be disturbed, allowing the demon king's hatred and rage to be revived. Mm. Preservation of this castle is therefore tied to the prosperity of the kingdom. May it watch over an eternal pay peace. You know what's really interesting about that little uh, thing there is that's like what a lot of uh, religious sites from the Bible 
became churches in Israel because oh, they yeah. built the churches to protect the site. And in, in so doing, kind of like... Accidentally revere the site? Well, I mean that, I was going to say more like... You, you can't see it in its original state anymore. Oh, because, because now they plopped a, a building on top it. of it, right? But, but at least it's not a quickie mart. But it's part of the reason why we even know where the things were, though. Because Ooh, just things close. being preserved in their natural state tend to get other stuff built on them anyway. You well, know? get out of here! No! Well, Remember those fairies fairy. that, uh, <laughs> that you spent all that time? You do have a sword with a boulder fuse to it. I also got that. Well, yeah, that's true. Get out of here. Okay, I don't think there's any armors in this area. But I could grab these. I mean, why not? So anyway, so this um, documentary is about don't. people on the spectrum and their experience dating. And some of them are a little more socially uh, awkward than others. And when I say socially awkward, I just mean according to the standards of what... Um, no. What's, what's the right word? Is non neurodivergent culture dictates Neuro is normal social neuro. norms? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's the right term. Uh, but uh, this gal that had like the five different things, she was really very good with like um, social interaction compared to the rest of them. But it was a fascinating uh, documentary and it was really wholesome and fun. You were basically rooting for everyone. Uh, it was just, and then, you know, two different people who really, really, really want to date, but everyone just sort of thinks that they're weird because they're not the same socially. They get together and accept each other and it's just like so cute and wholesome. Aww. I think it was called uh, Love on the Spectrum. Interesting. I recommend it. It's on Netflix if you have it. Yeah, I was just talking to, to Lisa today because I'm like I've never been diagnosed, but I almost guarantee oh, with, like, ADD or something. Yeah, I almost guarantee that I at least have some. Well, and there may be some who would diagnose you with that, and then some who wouldn't. Right. Because I think like I kind of think we all have it to a degree. Yeah, I think it's, it's again it's probably a spectrum of of stuff. But, exactly. So what happened today? <laughs> And this is this is this is why I was. Oh, this looks promising. These are pretty uh, pristine. Some of these things. Well, those things don't melt. Yeah, this looks good. Helmet. Nope. Uh that might be good to have. Though. Lame. No, yeah. we don't want to get rid of block shield. Yeah, no, our shields are too cool. Yeah. Um, I was at doing some video editing, mm -hmm. and then we need to go and leave and get a couch. Did you make it all the way to the bottom? I, I did, and it started going doing the tunnel that goes back to the okay place. So we're going to go all the way to the top of this now. Oh, well, did you stop by that little hallway? That's where we originally came in, I think. Let's it does start check. getting a little samey. Like, looking. This, this feels like old Zelda labyrinths I know Yeah, this is where we came. I guess what I meant was Okay, my story. Yes. We got distracted about being ADD. That time it was my fault. No, we were. I was editing some video, and then uh, we needed to just go and pick up a couch, and then we were like trying to get out the door. And Lisa was like, "Oh, hey, when we get back, we need to do this thing. Like, we have to order a thing online or something." Okay. And like, I knew we were trying to get out the door. I knew we needed to get out the door, but I like I couldn't. I was feeling like crazy amounts of like. Huh. Anxiety we'll spot to cook. about not being able to do the thing that was top like top of mind. Oh, the to ordering the, the thing online. Yeah, ordering the thing online that Lisa or like wanted a different to do thing when you got back. Yeah, she had just mentioned it, but it was like it was the most recent thing that had been stated. It was really weird. I'd never, I, I hadn't ever felt it that strongly before. Hmm. But I was like, I can't think and about you were anything. Self-aware else. in the moment. Yeah, I was aware of the fact that like this is. This is just an incredibly strong urge right now. And Lisa's like, we got to get out the door. I was like, I know, but like, 
I can't not do this. Yeah. <laughs> and she's yeah. like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm okay. I'm, I'm prying myself away from this, but I just want you to know this is taking a lot of effort. Right do now. you think it would it's help so to like make a post-it note? Because for me, I have trouble not um, like not being afraid that I'm going to forget something important. And the best way to not forget it is to just get it done. Yeah, I mean, that's some sometimes and a post-it note like helps, but it, it was weird. It wasn't like a, I'm going to forget this later. It it was it was strange. I like I, I knew it was strange. And I was like, you I told Lisa, I was like, you probably notice me doing this kind of thing all the time. But, <laughs> but this is the first time I think I've noticed it. That's funny. That's funny. Is that it? My No, I think there's probably a few of them. I hear a couple. My wife and I go through this uh, something similar where like she has a bunch of stuff in her mind that in her like mental to-do list and um, she can stop worrying about it when she tells me about it. But then that's when I start worrying about it. So then I have to write it down. <laughs> so we'll be like in bed about to fall asleep. And she's like, by the way, tomorrow we got to do this, 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 and this. And then she'll fall asleep. And I'm like, ah, and I got to get out of bed and turn on a light and write it down. Because <laughs> I'm like, now that I know, she's going to feel free to not know. But then I'll forget. And then oh, this is it'll this place. be upsetting later. <laughs> Yeah, we're having trouble. I don't think any of the armor is outside. No, I don't think so either. Unless it's at the top of the castle. Wait, we're not even in the castle. This whole time we weren't even in the castle, Peter. <laughs> well, there's the problem. There's your problem right there. You're not even inside the castle. Wait, is that... A, wait a minute. Are you sure? The castle's up in the sky. I mean, right, but... Oh, is that where the armor is? Yeah, I thought maybe the armor was in, like, the gatehouse stuff or whatever. Oh, let's see if we can get up there using this thing that we just made. Yeah, in the hey. last episode. Oh, no, <laughs> that'll work. The inflatable butt. It's the incredible, not edible butt. Oh, this is insufficient. Not gonna get us up there. I don't think you have any sort of. I mean, maybe. I don't want to sell you short. Maybe you've got some sort of attention challenge or something. But I just think that you're like, um, I don't know. And maybe, maybe saying it this way is just saying the same thing, but like blaming one for the other. Mm -hmm. I just think, but I think people who are uh, as creative as you are, and I think you're more creative than I am, and uh, who are like have the ability to be spontaneous more easily um, and more successfully it's like your brain works in such a way that it may come across to people whose brains don't oh so close. I thought that was a ledge I could grab I thought so too uh oh uh oh I guess we're going to the gamut uh -oh. fight uh oh <laughs> well there goes another fairy <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. I could have used that. Um. And death in five, four, three. Maybe I can redeem maybe this. Maybe after you dive, it'll give you another. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> I fell all the way down. <laughs> wow. That was really something. Uh. No, nah, I think maybe you do have ADD. <laughs> I changed my diagnosis. Oh man, we didn't find a single piece of armor. Hmm. But I think it's up high. I think it's up in the castle itself. Well, it's a good thing you did the episode that takes skill. Shut up, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, don't use that word. It's mean and unnecessary. Ted and I are very good old friends, and we know how to use that with each other in a non harmful way. That's the thing about language, it's all interpretation. Yeah. See, I say shut up all the time. <laughs> yeah. Peter just has an aversion to it. Well, we don't. We want to be a, a, a family friendly, you know, good, good for uh, people feel safe letting our kids watch. We get man. I love these comments, but we get comments like, hey, I really appreciate that you guys are a channel that I feel safe 
letting my kids watch. And that's exactly the culture that we like to cultivate until uh, we're ready to mold your children into our image and become our army of the night. <laughs> it's part of the long con, guys. Don't worry about we it. We need more battery is what we need. But I'll I've see. got a plan. Somebody comment that. Oh, you're going to do the old magic presto change o lifto trick. Going to do some recall. First, you start the balloon, then you ultra-hand this, then you raise it high in the sky. High as an apple pie. Uh, then you're gonna have to lower it and get on it and recall it, right? How's this work? Yeah, easy, easy. You're gonna run out of battery. That's good. Oh yeah, because it'll recall all the way up there. With no stamina used. I mean, no battery used. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why, why can't I ca move my camera? That was dumb. It wasn't letting me move my. Now you're going down. What are you doing? It... You're in camera mode. Okay, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. That wasn't my fault. <laughs> okay, we're doing this again, and we're gonna do it the right way. Now we're gonna do it with what we like to it call. It wasn't like I was standing on this right thing way. and it wasn't letting me do this with my ultra hand. Mm. Like I was trying to move it to grab this and it wouldn't let me. Maybe because you were ultra handing while in recall mode still? I don't know, but that stunk. Okay. So here's how you do the infinite climb method. Oop, oh, oop, oh, all right. No! It'll stop. It'll stop on its own as soon as it gets out of range. Thanks. See? It is a little tricky, it's especially if you don't do it like all the time every day or whatever. You gotta get the- The stupid oh. things in the- the balloon's in the way! Yeah, balloon's in the way. Something's in the way. Gotta get it closer. Mm. And you have to turn the wrong way to hit it. Yeah, no, I can understand. How did you do it the first time? Impossible, that's how. Can't do it. No, well, I think I had this further away, is the thing. Ah, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel for you, man. It's- I'm not frustrated with you, I'm frustrated... <laughs> ...with you. <laughs> there! I guess the way to say it is, I'm not frustrated with you. But now I'm not gonna you. get as high, because I'm I'd... frustrated with you. My battery was dead at the same time. Okay, so now you recall this and ultra hand that, right? Yes. Now, do you have to wait till your battery is a little further along? No. Woo! Oh, right, because now you'll recall this. this and then start it. Yes. Okay, I see. This now you don't even have to go. grab the board on this one. And then as soon as you apex, boom. Uh, okay. After all that, I hope this is enough. That would be terrible if it wasn't. You can take, I think, the central Hyrule uh, tower and manipulate that to your ends here. Oh, why did you? Dude, that's the worst when he doesn't glide when you want him to. You need it right away. Oh, man. I'm just like, nope, not this time. This isn't going to work either. Okay, Central Hyrule Tower? Yeah. That tower. Um, maybe not the best. Is there a tower past the castle? Is there anything in the sky nearby? That's what I was thinking. But I don't think so. Well, maybe the, yeah. This seems like this will be a little far away. There is a shrine up <gasps> in the castle that would be good to yeah. at least unlock. Man, we just need more batteries. Like, just a little more battery yeah, with that hot air balloon. More ba well, you know what? I think we have enough to turn in. Yeah, we do. We could just turn in and get a thing. But I mean, at this point, this episode is some? too long. Yeah. But, uh, well, I, I mean, at least now we know what it's going to take to get in the castle. I'm going to try this real quick. We're going to see if we can get in this way, though. We talked about songs, we talked about the spectrum, we talked about... Hey, how'd you get that couch home? Oh yeah, In look! Look at all that! 
Dude, put on yeah. your diving shirt. Because you'll get more distance when you're not using stamina this way. Right, and we can get all the way well, so that we're level-ish with it before we start gliding. Uh, don't you still lose altitude when you're gliding? Yeah, that's, a, that's why I said level-ish. Yeah, so how'd you get that couch home? In a trailer. Oh. You got a trailer? Uh, I don't. We use Lisa's dad's truck. Ah. And he's very generous. Let us use his truck and his trailer. And his ratchet straps. Well, for ever, any reason you ever need to do something like that, and uh, his truck is unavailable. I think we're going to make it. Yeah, dude. Oh. OMG. Well, use your... Uh... Yes, you should go for the low platform there. That's going to be more attainable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No problem. As long as you have a ferry, in case you need to make a rough landing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That won't work. You can get your stamina back, though, and then, uh... Careful with that thing. You should point it away. <laughs> <laughs> point it away from you. Wait. Yeah, oh, ascend, I'm... bruh. We go. We made it to the castle. If Link yeah, maybe next while ascending, time. is there a methane bubble in the stone work? It's an important question. An important question we don't have answered. He leaves a methane uh, bubble behind? Yeah, like in the brick. <laughs> How do we... Do you know where the um, shrine is? Mm. Kind of round back, like north... Northeast corner of the actual castle grounds. No. Let's go get that shrine. Yeah. We'll get I mean, that as an unlock point and that'll be good. I feel like this uh maybe maybe next time we just continue this. Yeah, thing. go get that armor. Because <laughs> this is a big this is a big area to explore in one episode. Let's just be honest. It'll be fun. Today's episode was kind of a talky episode, kind of a commentary episode, and yeah, uh, that's fun. You know, we, I, we accomplished we have things. We got it. up here. You know, that's a big deal. Well, I don't know about that. Now you're selling yourself a little tall. How come no one says sell yourself tall? Yeah. You're always just selling yourself short. Interesting. You know, megalomania is only mania if you're wrong. True. It could just be Megalo Truth. <laughs> Megalosania. <laughs> nice. Uh oh. It Am might I be, on Gloom? It might be Gloom City up here. You don't have to press A. But I will. Yeah, because you want to. Um, check out your map. And uh, go to World Map. Please. Yeah, so I think it's on that land, like here? right there. Yep. Going toward the sword. Going toward the sword. We gotta find the sword and get a fast travel location. Wow, you found that lickety splickety. Good work. Well done. Don't die. I wanted to skewer myself on that tree. Oh. <laughs> okay, so between this episode and the next episode, Ted's gonna go get some fairies. <laughs> You're playing next time. <laughs> How you know what it feels like. Uh, if you guys have missed uh, earlier episodes of this series, you could click on... Uh, uh, do we want to link a, link a whole playlist here? No. Just click on this video. It's yeah, a this, good one from earlier is, in the series. Yeah, people this like the one, this one. This is the one that people really like from this series, but you can always go back and check them all out if you want. Catch up. We'll see you over there. In, in the, the basement. basement.